This, this question um, is quite mechanics-y, so it's quite a good one to look at because you'll use vectors a lot in your mechanics modules. So speed is a scalar, so that just has a value, and velocity, which is what they want, is going to have a direction. So if we sketch out, so we know the direction that, that we're traveling in or that the, the speed is in, and that's minus 120, so that's going to be in that direction, minus 190. Okay, so... And then that's the velocity vector there. So if the velocity was minus 120, minus 119, let's have a think about what the speed would be. So again, it doesn't matter that they're negatives if I'm just after the, the magnitude of them. Right. So square root of 120 squared plus 119 squared. I get 169, so that's nice. It's come out, oh, yeah, come out as an integer. Okay, so that's what the speed would be if this was the velocity. So if it was traveling 120 kilometers per hour that direction, 119 kilometers an hour that direction, then the speed would be 169. And we, we, it's not, it's way, way slower than that. So what we want to figure out is how many times smaller or how many times slower is the tractor actually traveling? So if we do 169 divided by 8.45, so let's get the calculator back up. Okay, so 169 divided by 8.45, we get 20. It's always quite nice when you end up with nice round numbers. Okay. So that actually means that, I mean, this really is a, a parallel vectors problem. Um, so what that really means is our tractor isn't traveling 120 in that direction and 119 in that direction. It's traveling 1 20th of that. So actually, that's more like what our tractor is doing. Okay, so well, what is that going to be as an actual velocity? Well, obviously mine is not drawn to scale at all, but that is going to be a 20th of minus 120, and that is going to be a 20th of um, minus 119. So, so the minus 120 over 20 obviously does divide um, let's give it as an i and j vector because that's what they're using in the calculator. So it's actually minus 6i and then let's get the other one as a decimal because they've used a decimal in the question. So, oops, right, let's do 119 divided by 20, 5.95 and that's also a minus... And then let's just get that out of the way. Okay, and then that does have units, that's kilometers per hour. <laughs>